there are actually two main ways to go about finding products to sell on Amazon. Now, for one, you can start on Amazon itself and then try to uh, locate these products at supplier sources. Where the other way to go about doing it is to go to a supplier website, find products, find brands that that supplier sells, and then to try to locate them on Amazon. So basically, you can either start on Amazon and then try to find these products at suppliers, or you can start at a supplier such as this one and try to find those same products on Amazon. So you can go Amazon to supplier or supplier to Amazon. Now, the Amazon Sourcer Google Sheet, which I demonstrated in a complete playlist on this channel, show it uh, can be used to source products from Amazon to suppliers. However, what I would like to get into in this video is working in the opposite direction using another Google Sheet I created called the Amazon Matcher. And with the Amazon Matcher, you're going to start on the supplier website, search these product titles, and then find them on Amazon. Now, doing this manually would typically take a lot of time because I would have to actually open each of these products individually and then perform a Google search on each title or I would have to copy and paste it and copy and paste the title into Amazon and try to see if I can find the products here on Amazon so of course that's going to typically take a long time so that's not what I'm going to do now that we have the Amazon matcher now uh, I'm going to show you why the Amazon matcher is a good choice or a great choice for this particular supplier and I'm going to do that by showing you the difference with a supplier like Zorro. If you look at Zorro, their products are broken down by brand. Very clearly, they have the brand and then the title of the product. And any category you go into on Zorro, that's how everything will look. And in fact, they even have a brands page on Zorro where you can see all the different brands that Zorro sells. So with Zorro, you can just take those brands, search them on Amazon, like take that Dewalt brand, search it on Amazon, and you'll find uh, products for Zorro. However, with Entertainment Earth, which specializes in action figures, they're not broken down by brand. They don't have a brands page if you go down to the bottom of their page. You, there's no brands page. And when you look at these action figures, they don't have brands. They're just they're action figures. They have names, right, of characters. Okay, so basically, I really need to just search these uh, character uh, action figure names, titles, okay? So what I need to do is get all of these titles and the prices as well off of this entertainment earth page right now i'm on the outlet deals page and they have new markdowns every month so you can basically come to this page for good uh, great markdowns and here's the instant data scraper uh free chrome extension and when i click on it it's actually going to pull this this uh these products off of the page into a spreadsheet format now sometimes i have to select this to get it to say locate next button and you do need this if you want to get more pages so you're gonna so uh, once you click on that um, you should scroll down to the bottom of the page and look for the next button which would be this arrow in this case and click on it and what will happen is when you come back to the Chrome extension remember it's down here click on start crawling and it will actually continue to pull more products from the page now sometimes it will stop and you might have to start it again all right to in, or, in order to get more pages um i'm not really trying to get a lot of pages for this video right now at this moment okay so right now i'm just going to go ahead and take the two pages that i have but normally i would close this run it again and it would work better the second or third time um but right now i'm going to just go ahead and download the csv so this CSV will contain everything that you see in here. If I maximize this, you can see it has the titles, it has the product links, uh, it has the prices, okay, which is everything that I need to source the products. Now, now that I have that, I need to bring those products into the Amazon Matcher. Now, um, being that Entertainment Earth, uh, well, actually, first, let me start with importing the products into the Matcher. So... Um, Here's the IDS CSV, which means Instant Data Scraper CSV Sheet Tab. And um, I'm going to go to File, Import. 
this is just a common Excel function that's built into Excel or Google Sheets, I should say. And I'll go to Upload, Browse. So that was File, Import, Upload, Browse. And here's Entertainment Earth. And I'll open that. This is what I just downloaded from the Instant Data Scraper. And I'll click Open. I'll wait for this. And then I'll go to Replace Current Sheet on here and click Import Data. Now, if you've seen the Amazon Sourcer, and let's see what's going on with this. Okay, that seems like, okay, froze there for a second. Okay, so um, if you're familiar with the Amazon Sourcer, then you might know that normally the next step will be to go to the main sheet and to now uh, automatically copy over that data into the sheet. And it is the same with this. However, when you're using uh, random suppliers, you're going to have to know how to create what's called the columns map. I'm not going to do it in this video, um, but I do show that in a, I do have a complete tutorial of this where uh, it does show that process. So I already created the columns map for Entertainment Earth, so I'm going to just go ahead and select it. So that is one difference with this tool is that you have to create columns maps for random suppliers. So once I do that, select Entertainment Earth on the map. Now I just have to click Import Instant Data Scraper CSV. And I expect to see some of these columns get filled up. Not all of them. But basically the URLs, the titles, and the prices. Those are the three things that I definitely need to get from the supplier. I need the titles so I can search them, obviously, on Amazon. I need the... Um, URL so I can open the products and look at them and I and of course I need the prices in order to calculate profit now I'll just go ahead and import that now um, I'm actually right now in the middle of developing this uh, the last one I had put out was uh, 3.5 and so I'm doing a few little developments on this into the into version 3.6 I've actually added some things that I think uh, were needed or are or are at least useful, uh, such as I added um, the brand on Amazon, the FBA seller, the number of FBA sellers, number of fulfilled by merchant sellers. This is some different Amazon data that comes from Keepa. Um, and so there are just some different things I added. All right. And so uh, when you get your copy of this, um, if you're still using 3.5, I'll be sending you 3.6 soon. Um, or you might already be downloading 3.6 if you get this copy today. So um, it just depends on when you're watching this video. But either way, you will get the latest copy. So don't worry about getting the latest copy. Now, the title showed up. So once the title show up, I can actually go ahead and start doing it. Well, the prices came in as well. I can go ahead and start trying to match these products to Amazon. So what I'm going to do is click up here in the menu. A lot of people who um, have seen the, my older videos are, are saying that they don't know where the button is to, to match the products. Okay, It's up here. I moved it to the menu. Okay, So you see this um, symbol? That means that I've added something. You see these capital letters? Okay, That's a menu. So go to that first row and go to Find Amazon Products. Click Start finding Amazon URLs okay start means start finding it on the current row so you use start to start doing it from that current position on the spreadsheet that's what start means all right um, continue is for uh, when it is done um, with this first execution you can make it continue from wherever it left off and then automate continue is where it's going to just keep uh, every 30 minutes, it will continue automatically. And that is to be used with very long list of products where you don't want to have to sit there and keep doing it. It will just continue on its own every 30 minutes. Okay, so that's what those options are for. Um, just wanted to briefly mention those. Now, you can see what's happening here. It's already finding URLs for Amazon URLs and ASINs for these products. If you don't see an ASIN, that means that 
if it didn't find a good link. So it's coming out no. Okay, so if you don't see an ASIN, that's not a good link. If you see an Amazon ASIN, then that you have a good link. Now, whether or not they actually match, um, they might match. It could be that the product does not have a match on Amazon. It could be that it does, or it, you know, so it it just it varies. But um, basically, it just takes the first match that it finds on Amazon, and so uh, most the majority the majority um, of the matches will be good as long as that product actually really is on Amazon. So let's take a look at this first product. Okay, I open the product link on Entertainment Earth. And then here, I can open the product link on Amazon by clicking this link. And it's a little slow, but I just want you to see this. Okay, so this is Entertainment Earth, Star Wars, Black Series, so on and so forth. Okay, the lightsaber. Um, and then here's uh, Amazon. Woo, it's taking a while to load. And I want to see if this is the same product. I find that generally Amazon products load uh, slower from a spreadsheet than they do when you're on Amazon itself. So that's just something to keep in mind. So here, here we have this F3904 in parentheses as well. And that, I believe, uh, has something to do with this item number that we see on Entertainment Earth, F3904. So I would say these, you know, now, I mean, you have to look at the details to really make sure. Um, not only that they're the same, but for instance, on one site, it might come with some kind of extra product and then on the other site, it doesn't, you know, so you just need to check and make sure that, um, they're providing everything here at the supplier that is on the Amazon listing. Right. Um, but looking at the pictures, looking at the images, looking at the name, um, my impression is that these are a good match and you can always take your time comparing them more we do see that the price on amazon is somewhat higher being 160 versus uh, if i round it off it's about 160 on amazon where it's about 140 on entertainment earth whether or not that's a profit well you have to do the math on that and that is where uh chrome extension which um it doesn't seem like i have open on this browser right now there's a chrome extension i use that actually uh will help you do that it will show you all the fees and everything and it's just not loaded right now and when you click in that you will um this is actually it let me see if i can get it to open up right now that chrome extension for some reason it didn't open by default but you can use that to help calculate the profit okay so what happened is that i had the my chrome extension off you can see everything was off um by the way you get a deal through my link um to this chrome extension seller assistant app so use the link because if you don't use the link you won't get the deal and I believe it's a free trial as well. Um, and that's really going to help you a lot. And I know you can't see it yet, but you, when it loads, um, it shows you all the fees and everything and gives you a profit calculator. Um, so that comes in really handy. It also shows you if the uh, product has any issues with um, IP issues or anything like that. Okay, so that's really an essential Chrome extension. So, so. That's basically the idea. Um, in this video, I'm not doing a complete demonstration of the whole tool. I just wanted to kind of introduce the concept that you can match the products from a supplier to Amazon just the same uh, as you can go from Amazon, find products on Amazon, and then try to match them to the supplier so that those of you who are using the Amazon Sourcer, you can see that you also have this Amazon Matcher. And it's not that one is better than the other. They're different and they're needed in different situations. So with a supplier like Entertainment Earth, you really need the matcher. Okay, you really need the matcher. The way that the, the type of products they have on this uh, site, the matcher is what will help you find those products on Amazon. Where when it comes to a supplier like Zorro, on the other hand, because Zorro has so many brands, you can basically just go to Amazon and search uh, the Dewalt brand over here, for instance you know, pull up all those Dewalt products, right? If I just search Dewalt, I'll just show you what that looks like. Um, and right off the bat, when you search Dewalt, because they sell a particular type of product, you're immediately going to see products that look like the ones on Zorro that are also Dewalt, right? So you have that connection with the brands. 
okay with this website entertainment earth you don't have that so you need the matcher okay so that's another option now as far as the amazon data uh typically i'm using keepa which you if you're using the amazon sourcer you might already be familiar with keepa data features it's the same thing i use the same keepa data the same keepa data features the difference is with the amazon matcher i'm not you it's actually way more simple because i'm not using the product finder i'm using the product viewer all right and all you're going to do with the product viewer i'm kind of glad it's ready is i'm going to go to these uh take these asins from the matcher if it's ready and i'm just going to i, I mean i don't need to actually do it but basically i'm going to take these asins copy them paste them right in here and click load list it's going to load up all the amazon product data on those asins and then i just have to bring the data in here to the google sheet and it will all open right here and i'll be able to see uh which products are profitable so i do demonstrate that in a more complete tutorial on the tool uh which i will have well actually i do have uh for version 3.5 and it's basically the same thing for version 3.6 i just added a few more columns here um to help you out but actually the process of using the tool is the same it hasn't changed so you can go ahead and watch the tutorial on 3.5 i'll have it linked um somewhere when you download the tool or it might even be linked on this video as well and so you can see how this actually works in completion and that is about it um this is i'm mr mart and this was um the amazon source on amazon matcher two different ways to source products from amazon uh, my contact information is provided by low, uh, provided below if you want to contact me directly. Um, or you can also leave comments, questions, and suggestions on the channel. And that's about it. Look forward to either hearing from you or seeing you around in another video.